Okay, so in today's example, we're going to see how to apply the multiple root theorem to solve a question. Okay, so the question says, factorize 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 12x minus 20 into real factors given it has a double root. Okay, so let p of x equal that polynomial 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 12x minus 20. Okay, so we're told that it has a double root. So if p of x has a double root, then p dash x, the derivative of p of x, has a root of 2 minus 1. So it has that same root, one fold. So it has p dash x is equal to 6x squared plus 6x minus 12. And this has, this has the double root of p of x as a one-fold root. That just means it's a single root of p of x, p dash of x. Okay, so let's factorize this a little. Then we can take out a 6, and we get 6 into x squared plus x minus 2. Okay, so to factorize this, we need to find two numbers that multiply to give minus 2 and add to give plus 1. So these two numbers would be plus 2 and minus 1. So we have 6 into x plus 2 times x minus 1. Okay, so now we need to determine which of these factors is a double factor of p of x. So the way we do this is we substitute in minus 2 or positive 1 into p of x and see if it's a root of p of x. Okay, and the way we do that is just simply subbing it in. So, testing p of minus 2, that will give us 2 into minus 2 cubed plus 3 into minus 2 squared minus 12 into minus 2 minus 20. Okay, so what's that? This here is negative 2 cubed, which is negative 8, times 2, that's negative 16, plus... Now, negative 2 squared is positive 4, times 3 is positive 12, so plus 12. Now, negative 12 times negative 2, that's positive 24, so we get plus 24, and just minus 20 here. Okay, now we see that this all equals to 0. So therefore, P of X has x minus, now minus 2, I'll write it like that, just so we can see explicitly, it comes from subbing in minus 2. So it has x minus minus 2, which equals x plus 2, as a factor. But x plus 2 was also a factor of p dash x, so therefore, since it's a factor of p dash x and of p of x, so it has to be for both, therefore it's a double root. So since x plus 2 is a factor of p of x and p dash x, it is a double factor of p of x. Okay, so now the next step would be to write p of x in this form. 
So this means P of X is equal to, well, since X plus 2 is a double factor, it's X plus 2 squared times Q of X. Now, we need to determine what this Q of X is. Now, we note that in the question, the polynomial P of X has a degree of 3. And so here, if, th if this side here has a degree of 3, so this has a degree 3, then this side also needs to have a degree of 3. Now, if we look at just x plus 2 squared, this has a degree of 2. So that means here, we need a degree of 1. That's a horrible bracket, but we need a degree of 1 here. So therefore, we write it q of x as a general linear factor. And the general linear factor is ax plus b. Now, if this was a degree of 2, we, we would write ax squared plus bx plus c. If it was degree 3, we'd do the same thing, and so on. But since it's a degree 1, we just write the general linear equation. So now, that's equal to p of x. Now, if we write what the value of p of x is, we get this. Minus 12x minus 20 equals x plus 2 squared into ax plus b. Okay, now you can go ahead and work out what this is by doing long division or something. Any method, really. My preferred method is to expand out x plus 2 Okay, so we expand this out, and now, I'll just write here so we can make it more obvious. Now we just compare coefficients of certain powers of x. So, if we compare the coefficients of x cubed and 1, which is just a constant term, This is what we get. So we get from x cubed. Now the coefficient of x cubed on this side, that's a 2. Now, that must be equal to, actually needs to be identical to, the coefficient of x cubed on this side. But how do we get x cubed on the right hand side? Well, we get it from multiplying x squared by ax. And so the coefficient there will be a. And so here, that just tells us that a is equal to 2. Now, if we look at the constant term, or the coefficient of 1, we get from the left-hand side, minus 20, must be identical to... Now, where do we get the constant term? We get it from 4 times b. So we get 4b. And that tells us that b is equal to minus 5. Okay, so therefore we have P of X is equal to X plus 2 squared times, now, AX plus B, where A is 2, so 2X minus 5. And that's your final answer. We've factor, factorized this polynomial, 2X cubed plus 3X squared minus 12x minus 20 into a product of real linear factors. Okay, thank you.